Because the compass only reacts to magnetic north, you must be able to convert a bearing taken from a map and apply the difference to your compass to have it point you in exactly the same direction as the bearing on the map. To do this correctly, you must understand the different functions of the three norths symbol found in the marginal information of all maps. True north is the one that indicates the North Pole. We will not use it other than when navigating by the stars. Grid north, the map north, is a theoretical point at the top of the world where all the grid lines converge. The grid lines in question, being part of the Mercator grid system, are those lines that are running up and down your map and are known as eastings. The grid north is used when determining the bearing of a specific direction from a map. Magnetic north, the compass north, is a physical location to which all compass needles of the world point. It is generally accepted to be the area encompassing the Baffin Islands in northern Canada. It is the point of convergence of the Earth's electromagnetic field, which is moving continuously. This is why you must calculate the magnetic declination from one year to the next. Grid magnetic angle. The difference between the grid north and the magnetic north is known as the grid magnetic angle. To determine what the current grid magnetic angle of your map is, simply follow these steps. Locate the three north symbols on the margin of your map and determine what the annual change is, then calculate the accumulated change. Before you go on to do that, you must first understand how the numerical values related to the grid magnetic angle and the annual change are expressed. There are three types of values. Degrees, expressed in a number and a small zero. There are 360 degrees in the compass circle of 6,400 mils. Minutes, each degree is broken down into 60 minutes and minutes are expressed as a number and an apostrophe and seconds. Each minute is again divided into 60 seconds. Seconds are expressed as a number and two apostrophes. The level of accuracy required when working with Silva compasses generally precludes our calculating the seconds value. We simply round the seconds off to the nearest minute. Because the annual change is expressed in minutes and percentages of minutes on the maps used by the Canadian forces, a further small mathematical equation has to be followed. For our example, we'll say the annual change is 10.2 minutes. That indicates 10 and 2 tenths minutes. We know that each minute has 60 seconds and can therefore calculate that each tenth is actually 6 seconds. Therefore, 2 tenths of a minute would have a value of 12 seconds. This is expressed as 10 minutes, 12 seconds. We can now calculate the accumulated change. Our example indicates that the annual change is 10.2 minutes and that it is increasing. We must now establish what the approximate mean declination is and the year in which it was last issued. This information is also found on any map directly below the three norths symbol. For our example, the declination will be 10 degrees, 32 minutes, as of 1988. To calculate the grid magnetic angle for this year, we count the number of years from 1988 to 1994. This means that you'll have to calculate six years of annual change of 10.2 minutes as follows. 10.2 minutes times 6 equals 61.2 minutes. We said that we will round out our seconds off to the nearest full minute. That will bring our total annual change to 61 minutes. We have determined that the approximate mean declination is 10 degrees 32 minutes, that it has changed by 61 minutes since 1988, and that it is increasing. From this, we will establish the actual grid magnetic angle. When the grid magnetic angle is increasing, meaning that the angle between the grid north and magnetic north has been getting larger since 1988, we have to add the accumulated annual change to it. Our calculation then will be as follows. 10 degrees 32 minutes plus 61 minutes. 10 degrees 93 minutes equals 
10 degrees plus 93 minutes. 93 minutes divided by 60 minutes equals 1 degree 33 minutes plus 10 degrees equals 11 degrees 33 minutes. Because each degree is made up of 60 minutes, we will round the 11 degrees 33 minutes off to 12 degrees because 33 minutes is just greater than one half minute. If on other maps the grid magnetic angle is decreasing, meaning that the angle between the grid north and magnetic north was getting smaller each year, then our calculation would be done by subtracting the accumulated annual change from the approximate mean declination rather than adding it. To set the declination on your compass, you must first go back to your map to determine whether the declination is in an easterly or westerly direction. This is established by checking the position of the magnetic north in relation to the true north. If the magnetic north symbol is situated to the left of the true north symbol, then the declination is in a westerly direction. Conversely, if the magnetic north symbol is to the right of the true north symbol, then the declination is going to be in an easterly direction. 